Hi, welcome to our Wednesday devotional. Thanks for taking this time to be with me. We um, just finished our missions conference, and the theme was, see if I can get you to read this, If Not Now, When? If Not Now, When? Uh, for the past several weeks preparing for the missions conference and during the missions conference, I spent a lot of time thinking about time trying to allocate our time properly, trying to schedule the missionaries and make sure their time was used properly. A lot about time. And then I had a couple of funerals last week. One was for a man that was 83. One was for a lady that was 41 when they passed. And I thought about time and the difference of time. Our theme was now is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. In Ephesians chapter 5, the Bible says redeeming the time. Because the days are evil. Let me give you a few thoughts about time. This uh, may not be impressive, may not feel important, but I think because time is so important, we need to realize these things. Here's what I thought about. Number one, when I give you my time, I'm giving you my life. You understand that? Every We only have so much time. Each one of us has allocated so many years. And the psalmist talked about 70 years being an average, and uh, that's a little low right now for Americans, but it's an average life lifespan. But when I give you my time, I'm giving you my life. I love the quote from Ben Franklin, I've used it numerous times, who said, Dost thou love life? Then do not squander time, for that's the stuff life is made of. When I give you my time, I'm giving you my life. Uh, I'll never get that time back. Understand that? When I give away my time, or when you give me your time, you'll never get it back. What a thought that is when we realize how valuable time really is. Another thought is this. When I give you my time, I'm giving you the only time I know I have. Uh, for example, I can't give you tomorrow. I can promise you tomorrow and maybe fulfill that promise. I can plan to give you time tomorrow. I can make an appointment with you tomorrow. But I don't know about tomorrow. We don't know about tomorrow. You don't know about tomorrow. So I can give you my time today, but that's all that I can give you. That's the only time I know that I have. I want to say this carefully and kindly because I know I can be guilty of the same thing. But let's be very careful about taking the time of others. When I make a visit, I try to be brief as I can be. I want to hear the person's story. I want to learn if they're not saved and try to lead them to Christ. But I don't want to spend extra time. Uh, when I'm preaching, I am very conscious of time. Now, it may not seem like it to those who are listening. But I am. I actually have uh, my computer counts words, so I know how many words it takes to fill up a certain amount of time. And I watch that. And if uh, my message has too many words, and I look at some way to cut it back or take away something from it. Because when I take your time, I'm taking your life. We need to be conscious of other people's times. Have you ever talked to somebody and it just seemed like they went on and on and on? I know sometimes I can be that way and I can try to give details that really aren't necessary. Realize when we do that, we're taking somebody's time. We're taking their life. So the real thought today is this. In Ephesians, we're told to be redeeming the time because the days are evil. Redeeming the time, buying up the time, using the time wisely. Are we using our time wisely in our time of rest. I usually hear these statistics, you should rest uh, this long or that long, seven or eight hours a night, and uh, some people can get by with less than that and do fine. But sometimes if we don't get enough rest, we're gonna spend extra time trying to keep up because our bodies aren't ready for the day. How about working time? I'm of the opinion when 
someone's working for another person, they're paying him for that time, that that time belongs to the person who's paying the bill. I can't be comfortable uh, fooling around on time that I'm being paid to work. Be careful about our working time. Be careful about our witnessing time. I think you ought to witness all the time, but there are times when the best witness is just to leave a gospel tract. There are times when the best witness is to leave a good testimony. There are times when the best witness is uh, uh, an act of honesty and integrity. And then when the appropriate time is there, we need to use the time wisely and present the gospel without going all around the woods to try to find it. Use our time wisely in witnessing. And then be careful that we don't waste our time. This devotion is going longer than I normally do, and I don't want to waste your time. Let's redeem the time. Buy up the time. Use our time wisely because we're giving up our life when we give up our time. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.